So I thought of a really stupid idea. I asked myself if it was possible to run across the entire foxhole map. Not only did I come up with this stupid idea, but I took it a step further. I asked myself, can I in real life run across the entire foxhole map? Today, we are going to find out if my player can run across the map and my real life human form can make it across as well. I've never seen any player attempt this, so I thought I would be the first. The goal of this challenge is fairly simple. We have to cross the entire foxhole map with only our two feet in one go. No teleporting in home region, no hitching rides, and no driving vehicles. Three, two, one, go! My setup for this was pretty simple. Placed my PC by my treadmill. I configured the controller settings to what I needed them to be in order to run with a controller. And finally, I put my running shoes on. During the run, I had to stop and check the map a lot so I wouldn't get lost. I was really confident in my first attempt and I thought I knew the map really well, but I ended up going the wrong direction right away. I also had to make sure that I wouldn't die. Running on the side of the road helped me avoid getting ran over. And when I reached the colonial side, I had to avoid defensive structures that were near the road. The map for Foxhole is big. It's certainly not the largest map of any game, but it's a diverse map populated with roads that connect almost every point on the map. The foxhole map from north straight directly south is roughly 13,260 meters, which equals about 13.26 kilometers, or for us Americans, 8.24 miles. But because we can't run in a straight line down the foxhole map, this run is actually going to be a bit longer. Using the Logi Ways website, I was able to find the optimal road path from the very top north road and basin all the way down south to Kalakai. The distance for following the roads only ended up being a little bit longer at 8.39 miles total. I honestly thought taking the roads was going to be a lot longer. Each hex in Foxhole is roughly 3.1 kilometers squared, and with the entire map being 43 hexes, not including the home islands, the total area for the map is 133.22 kilometers squared, or 51.44 miles squared. Here are some notable maps that are smaller than Foxhole. Apex Legends, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto 3, Call of Duty Warzone, Skyrim, Red Dead Redemption 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Cyberpunk 2077. Here are some notable maps that are larger than Foxhole. The Witcher 3, World of Warcraft Azeroth, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Just Cause 2. The old Foxhole map used to be pretty small. You could run across the whole thing in about 10 minutes. Foxhole has grown a lot since then, and it continues to grow with every update. I know once the devs bring airplanes to the game, the map is going to be huge. Maybe it'll be bigger than World of Warcraft? We will see. I was really surprised to see that some of those maps were smaller than Foxhole. Are there any maps that I forgot about? Do you think Foxhole needs to be bigger at this point? Let me know what you think about the size of the foxhole map. There's something really peaceful about running in foxhole. Not having to worry about what base to supply or what front to push, just taking in the foxhole map. Foxhole really does have a diverse and great map. I would argue that there are maybe too many bridges, but overall, it's a really great map for the game. I wonder if one day we will see a new foxhole map. Maybe I should try to do this same challenge in Anvil Empires when it becomes more developed. Running across the foxhole map was not my first time going across the entire map. I've also driven across the foxhole map, which took me about 20 minutes. And I also rode a bicycle across the map, which only took me about 30 minutes. Something I should note in this video is that I'm not running the same speed that my foxhole soldier runs. By using a set of binoculars and putting a Logi truck 100 meters away from me, I was able to determine that the foxhole soldier can run 100 meters in about 18 seconds. This means without sprinting or being over encumbered, a foxhole soldier can run a kilometer in about 3 minutes. Or again, for us Americans, they can run a mile in about 4 minutes and 49 seconds. Even though we can only sprint in the game for a short period of time, I wanted to find out the pace of when a soldier is sprinting. While sprinting, a foxhole soldier can run 100 meters in 14 seconds which makes their mile pace about 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Current Guinness World Record for the mile is 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Our foxhole soldiers are fast. You may have guessed it by now, but I did not run 4 minutes and 49 second miles during my run across the foxhole map. My fastest mile recorded was when I was in high school and when I was in the best shape of my life, and that time was 5 minutes and 5 seconds. If I would have put the treadmill speed at soldier speed, I would have been flung into the wall behind me within seconds. During my run, I put the treadmill speed at 6 miles per hour, which is about 6 minutes and 11 seconds of kilometer pace or a 10 minute mile pace so pretty slow and a nice relaxing run for me something interesting i found out is the average american soldier needs to run two miles in under 15 minutes and 54 seconds to qualify for the army this means that a foxhole soldier would be a whole mile ahead of most american soldiers with this pace i looked at some of the other countries as well and it was very similar foxhole soldiers are just fast i don't know what kind of food they're feeding them but it's working
Running is a lot like Foxhole. You take the small victories where you can and you build towards a bigger goal as time goes on. Running can put your body in all sorts of pain, but eventually you can hit a stride and you can sometimes even get what is known as runner's high. This is where everything just seems to click and you're ready for that next mile. Foxhole is similar. Parts of the game can feel downright painful, but when you make those good pushes on the front line or you hit those amazing arty shots, you feel revived and you feel like pushing from one enemy base to the next. The last stretch of running can sometimes feel like the easiest part. The end is in sight, but if you start to relax your form too much, it can sometimes turn into the hardest part. This can also happen in Foxhole when you can see that the end is in sight, but we have all seen before that 30-32 does exist, and you need to make sure that you're not slacking off at the end just because you know the end is near. You must still give everything you've got and finish strong and hard. Overall, I believe a lot of things can be learned from running that cross over to Foxhole from a psychological point of view. I should note that during this run I was doing it in Dev Branch, so a current war was not going on. I still could have easily been killed by AI structures or ran over by a lodgy truck from players that were testing the game. Luckily, I was able to make it across. I don't think this challenge would be possible on the live server. If you ever try it and make it all the way across, let me know. I know there are some partisans out there that have gotten to the end of the map before. I've even seen them build bases. It's an incredible feat, and hats off to you. And there I was at the end of my long journey. You can't go any further here. We did it, and it was glorious. Can't believe I actually managed to run across the Foxhole map in the game and in real life. In true content creator fashion, of course I had my mic muted during this part. In total, I had ran 5.63 miles. So not quite the full length. Again, if I would have ran the soldier pace, I would have died. Can you run across the foxhole map? Yes, yes you can. I recommend you don't try this though. I did it for you, so no need to go waste your time. And wow, did my shoulders hurt afterwards. I would not recommend going on long runs while holding a controller. Running or even walking is one of the best things that you can do for your body if your body is able. You don't have to start out by running seven minute miles. Take it slow. Overall, I enjoyed my experience while making this video. In some ways, running with my soldier across the foxhole map made the map become more alive and ways I hadn't experienced before in Foxhole. I felt more a part of the world even though I was just using a controller. From my previous videos where I went across the map, people mentioned that I should try going across the map in a construction vehicle. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm far too busy for that kind of time commitment. Even as a casual runner, I will be honest with you and tell you that at times it's hard to find the motivation to lift myself up and go for a run. But once I start running and moving my body, I realize it's one of the best decisions I could make all day. Do we have any runners in the Foxhole community? Are you someone that wants to get into walking or running but you don't know where to start? Let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to give some running advice for aspiring runners out there. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. Remember to get a good walk or run in sometime this week. Cheers!